Hey, welcome to the video. I'm gonna take you through a typical glute workout. I get these in about two to three times a week because I do compound movements and isolation movements all in one, so I don't need to do a split. I will start off by saying I'm not a certified personal trainer. This is just my personal experience and exercises that I found worked my glutes the most, but let's just start with it. And <laughs> we have the Stairmaster to warm up my legs and to get a light sweat basically to warm up all my muscles and get my body ready. So I start off with some glute activation exercises. I did forget my bag at home, typical on the day that I'll be recording, but I use the gym's resistance bands to do some abduction work and some standing wall squats. But typically there's a couple variations you can do for glute activation exercises. I'll make sure to list a couple in the description below. But I move on to my more heavier lifts. Please don't mind the weights that I'll be using in this video. You do have to tailor it to your experience and your strength level. I would say for the hip thrust, form is actually really important to make sure that your knees and your ankles are a perfect 90 degrees to your hips, as well as pointing your toes out. I feel a bit more abduction in my gluteus medius. This is one of my favorite exercises. I swear this has made the biggest difference on my glutes. This is definitely what I would consider a hip hinging movement. You really don't want to move your shoulder blades up and down or your head facing the ceiling. You want to keep everything straight and forward and really just be focusing on moving the weight with your glutes. The kneeling squat is an exercise that I recently started doing because the traditional squat sometimes hurts my knees. I don't know if I'm just having bad form, but I find that my form is better when it's kneeling for some reason. So if you do find that there's some joint problems there, make sure that you're using some cushion on the bottom so you're not hurting your knees while you're kneeling. And I find that this is a really good booty burner. It feels absolutely <laughs> intense in my opinion. I would say the form is a little bit different than the average squat. You really want to make sure your knees are placed underneath the barbell, which I'm a little off so I need to, to correct that. Going into working the gluteus minimus which is the side booty it's my favorite thing to work and one of the best techniques and pieces of advice that i have received is to point my heel outward you're leading with your heel essentially not your toe and you feel it at the very front of the gluteus minimus it really works those hip areas if you're looking to grow your hips and if I can give any advice, it would be to plan out your workouts depending on the exercises that you're wanting to do. Use all the exercises you want with the one machine all at once. Don't have to come back to it because someone might be using it after you do your first exercise. So I mentioned this before, but I am absolutely obsessed with cable pull throughs. I feel it so intensely in my gluteus medius. It is a killer burn for me. I don't know why. It's really awkward to perform, but who cares? Make sure you are squeezing that ugly butt squeeze at the top and you are gonna thank me later. Now this exercise you can do as well on the Smith machine, but I prefer to do a dumbbell Romanian deadlift because I feel like I feel it more, I get a better stretch. Um, it does allow for a little bit of flexibility with form, I guess, because you are able to move the bar as freely as you like, um, but you essentially should be moving the dumbbells in a straight line to perform the movement correctly. I do like to use a single leg deadlift sometimes where you can use the bench just to my side um, but yeah and what is a glute workout without an amazing pumper at the end so this is a frog 
Frogger style pumper with an added weight. You can definitely do this weightless. If you can, do it until failure. This is how you're gonna see the most bang for your buck, if I'm honest. I'll leave a list of variations on the side below. You can screenshot and try them in your next workout. Thank you for following along, and if you tried this workout and you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm still learning, as you might be learning as well. I know it's 2020 now, lots of people are in the gym. So if you have any questions on my journey or my experience, don't forget to hit me up. I am an open book. See you in my next video.